okay so if you're watching this you already know what a thermal camera is and why you would need one seriously a thermal camera is really useful to visualize heat radiations especially in electronics but it is not cheap see here a basic variant starts anywhere around 18000 rupees and it can go all the way up to a thousand dollars which is not good which is why in this video i'm gonna show you how to build this an affordable diy thermal camera And trust me on this, it's fun to play with. So in this video, we'll give you the complete hardware details and the software details to build all of this on your own for less than $50. This is Ashwin and you're about to subscribe for Circuit Digest. Come on, you would subscribe, right? Come on. Okay, so the most important thing in our project is a thermal image sensor. So we started by looking for the cheapest available thermal image sensors and eventually we settled for the Melixis MLX9064D. This sensor has a wide pixel ratio of 32 cross 24 pixels and we can get it for just $30. Now let's take this to our table and have a closer look. So here we have our project and if I turn it around on the back side you can see the thermal image array sensor and if I turn to the left you can see a type C port which is used for programming the device and also to charge it and then we have an on off button let's turn it on and if we move to the top you can see an SD card slot to store all the images our device has turned on so this is the display we have three buttons a power LED and a charging indicator LED so as you can see our thermal image camera is already working and now next step what we will do is we will open this up and explore the interiors okay so this is the pcb of our project you can see the three push buttons and the power led which we visualized through this 3d printed enclosure we have this lithium polymer battery which powers the whole setup and as soon as i turn it on to the back side you'll be able to notice the main microcontroller of our project which is the esp32 soc apart from that you can see our melixis thermal image camera the type c port and the charging ic and few other components in fact let me just show you all the parts used on this pcb so that you can get a deeper understanding of that now back to our project next thing obviously we have to look at the circuit diagram for our project so for a complicated project like this the circuit diagram is pretty simple let me start from the top left corner which is the usb input and power path controller so basically you can see the usb type c connector over here and we also have a mosfet a03041 which is used for input protection you can see the battery here so what basically happens is we have the battery to power the entire project but we need 3.3 volt which is why we have a 3.3 volt uh, voltage regulator on the board you can find that over here this voltage regulator is used to provide 3.3 volt for our esp32 soc the esp32 soc is on the board over here and then we have the usb uart programming circuitry along with the auto reset so this is the uh, CH340K programming IC USB to UART IC along with the diode bridge IC which is used for auto resetting ESP32 at the time of programming and then for the battery charging and protection we have the TP4056 which you can find over here on the board and then we have the main MLX image sensor over here and then we have the standard TFT display. So this TFT display is very commonly used with Arduino Uno as well. So that's it, the circuit diagram is pretty simple. Okay, so that's all about the hardware for this project. And the next step was to create a firmware for this thermal camera. I'm not gonna get into the details of that for the sake of this video, but as always, you can find the complete details, including the Gerber file for the PCB, the circuit diagram, the 3D model for the enclosure, and the firmware all on our website. Link for that will be given somewhere in the description okay now i believe i have kind of shown you how it is built so let's take it for a spin to show you how it works background music please
With that, we have come to a conclusion for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. For more such DIY projects, check out our DIY smartwatch or our DIY biped robot. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanted to do this in front of the camera. Ta da! Ta da!